Hello gorgeous, welcome to your love reading for May. This is going to be a fun reading, so again I've changed the format. Uh, so if you're a regular viewer, regular subscriber, you know for some reason the love readings always get a change up. I don't know why, that's just what's meant to be. So once again I have changed it. If you are new, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this reading. Subscribe if you do. Um, just some things out of the gate. This is going to be a general love reading. Um, and we're going to use oracle and tarot cards to divine some uh, messages about what you can expect for the month ahead um, concerning romance, love. The advice could be about the pair. It could be about someone new coming in. It could even be just personal development um, that you're going to go through to open space to either welcome new romance in or to repair um, any, anywhere you need healing anything like that, but it is going to be a general reading. So my only ask of you is that you take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. You may resonate with all the decks, you may resonate with one. Um, if it doesn't vibe your situation, if you have to forgive too many things, that means that message, that part of the reading just wasn't for you. So let that go and only take what resonates, all right? Do not try to force any of the messages. Um, you will know what's meant for you, all right? So let me tilt the camera down and we will start pulling some cards. See you in a minute. Hey Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus people, welcome to your love reading. Uh, here is our setup. I have our guidance coming from our goddess oracles. Um, this will be kind of main theme, larger picture for the month ahead. And then we'll get your main message from the spirit or from the tarot deck at the end. All right, Kuan Yin, what advice and guidance do you have for Aries? Concerning love and romance for the month of May. Mm, there we go. All right, you guys had drink from the Emerald Fountain. Love that image. We're going to pull both cards and then we'll read them from the book and talk about them for a little bit, all right? Isis, what advice about love and romance do you have for Aries concerning the month ahead? Hmm. All right, you guys got the wings of Isis. Uniting with the angelic self. I like the word uniting. Could be meeting someone. That's the first thing I thought of when I heard that. All right. The divine feminine is encouraging, oh, is encouraging of the awakening and empowerment of all living beings. When a sincere seeker is trying to find the way through, there is much help sent. It makes sense to be open to receive it. Indeed, to step forward and drink from the Emerald Fountain, which is the unconditionally loving heart chakra of Kuan Yin. Allow yourself to be nourished by the power and love of the Divine Mother flowing to you now. To me, I'm getting a lot of healing off of this card. Healing in a sense where like, if things were hard, if things were challenging, if you're moving out of something, whether it's an old relationship or just like a stressful time with a partner or, you know, even just being single, I feel like this healing is bringing like a big heart opening is kind of what I want to say. Uh, in a sense, you know, just kind of, maybe you're closed off or you're feeling really like, protective or on the defensive to me this just feels like an opening like a major heart opening is coming for you oh sorry i'm trying to find it here it is foot fell asleep sorry about that you have a special spiritual relationship with the angelic worlds Part of your sole purpose is to birth angelic consciousness and values 
such as fearlessness, compassion, and service into this human culture. This oracle brings you angelic assistance and intervention, the confirmation that any impressions you may have had that you belong not only to the human kingdom, but also to the angelic one are correct. Very cool. Look at you, Aries. Lots of angelic juju running through you. I love it. And honestly, to me, this makes a lot of sense with this divine angelic co like connection, especially with this purpose of using this connection to inspire others and how you affect the people around you. And this could even be, you know, a divine partner. This could be a counterpart that you're, you're touching this way. That requires you to be open. That requires you to exercise compassion. You know, and Aries, you are a very passionate sign to begin with. You know, but sometimes that energy can be very assertive, sometimes very aggressive. I also think that you share that side of you with, you know, only a few people. I feel like this healing is helping to open you up and kind of crack crack that shell a little bit so that you kind of exercise more compassion with those around you to really inspire people the way that you want to. I feel like you already see yourself here, but how, you know, internally you're, you're coming from the right place and you have the right inspiration, but I almost feel like you don't do it consistently or with everyone you meet or you know all the time something like something like that where it's like there's an opportunity there to really stretch these wings out further and you just haven't yet for whether it's fear or you just you know you thought you were and you, you just you know weren't aware of it you know however that plays out but I feel like this this orca is really speaking to this big heart opening that you're going through or will be going through that really kind of help you reach the full potential. I'm really excited about that. Alright. Spirit, what, what message do you have concerning love and romance for Aries in the month of May? Oh, I think these cards are getting as tired as I am. Thank you. <laughs> sliding all over the place. There we go. Thank you, guys. <laughs> what do we got? Yay! Got some good juju in here. So starting off with the star card. So, could be dealing with an Aquarius, Aries. Ooh, excuse me. Had a little yawn. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But really that's speaking about expecting miracles, expecting the best, not only from yourself, but from people. Um, having hope that everything is as you want it to be. Being joyful, celebratory almost, but very, very happy energy. And why? Because here you are, page of wands, natural fire element for you. But this is you really taking that spark, that passion inside of you, letting that guide you, taking the initiative to see it through and work on it and make it, you know, take that spark and turn it into a full blown, full blown flame. Because after, after that, this is what we're working through. And again, when I was talking about this heart opening, this is really what it is. You know, I think you've had someone who lied to you, manipulated you, possibly cheated on you, you know, here with this seven of swords. But that hurt is coming to an end. Here we go straight to the ten. You know, this little thief, whoever's trying to steal from us, we're just going to plunge all the swords in his back. Like, we're like, no. I'm done with this. I know you're not worthy of my time. I know you were trying to get one over me. I know you were trying to take things that didn't belong to you. So, I got no time to mess with that. So, no, you need to go. I'm absolutely done with it. Absolutely done with it. And then you have the six of cups here. So a lot of times this is nostalgia, looking back at the past, but I, I honestly, I feel like this is you, you know, kind of thinking of happier memories, easier times, you know, how, how things should have been, that ideal that you had, maybe walking into this relationship, that you're returning back to that ideal where, you know, things can be great, 
love and support are there? You know, I think this person maybe did a little bit of a number on you. And this may be already over for some of you. And it's just been, there's just been a gap of time between finally calling it quits here and, you know, going through this longer kind of moment of healing. But now you're at that point where you're here. You're, you're in that, like, loving feeling again. Like, you've, you've rediscovered what that felt like. So you got the Ten of Wands, burden, strife, carrying this burden around on your back because you kind of maybe didn't know how to deal with it, how to process it. But you know what? You're shaking it off. You're reclaiming your life, reclaiming your time, reclaiming your decisions, your choices, your beliefs. You're not letting this run you anymore. You're taking it all back, taking all the control back. Because look at that, bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups, focus on your happy ending, manifesting your perfect fairy tale ending. You also have the Knight of Cups, a new suitor coming in. This definitely could be speaking about a new romance. A new romance that has the potential to live up to this Ten of Cups. This full happy ending. I think the, the message here is really, you know, this person is coming. You don't want to be in this mind frame. You don't want to treat them like you did this person because they are completely different. They're not gonna do you like this guy did you. So you need to take back control and stop letting this hurt dictate your decisions and your actions and your thoughts. You are much stronger than this. You, I mean, look at this. You single-handedly defeated this person. Don't have to worry about them anymore. Screw them. We're not worried about you. I got my own life to live. And I'm happy and sunny and I'm focused on my own dreams. Just because it didn't work out that time doesn't mean that I'm not going to have it. Because I will have it. I'm going to make it happen. This new person's coming in. I know better. I've learned from the mistakes here. I've learned, you know, how strong I am that I can handle this. And there is a fresh new start coming my way. Excellent job, Aries. Super exciting reading. So definitely new love or at least a like rekindling and strengthening of a existing bond lots of goodness coming up for you this month i'm into it it looks like you guys have been doing the work to really heal from something from your past and now you're just getting that final push and that final like bursting through the doors i love it love to see it all right aries i'm gonna wrap up your reading here wishing you the best as always and thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support that you give me and my channel. I appreciate it so much. You guys are my heroes. Thank you. As always, I love connecting with you guys as well. So hit me up in the comment section below. Sorry about that. You can DM me on Instagram at The Guiding Chariot. And if you want to book a private session with me, all that info will be in the description box. Take care. I love you. And I'll see you in your next video. Bye, Aries.